In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson XP7100 printer with your PC Windows computer. This way, I'll also be able to show you how to print and scan using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started right away. Step number one is to connect your printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your PC is currently connected to. So let's go on the screen over there. Step number one is to press on this icon on the top right over here. This is the Wi-Fi icons. So I'll go ahead and tap on these. You need to select Wi-Fi recommended, which is the first option. So tap over here. Select start setup. Then we need to select Wi-Fi setup wizard, the first one. It has scanned for all the Wi-Fi networks around and has found these. You can drag up and down and search for your specific Wi-Fi network. Tap on it. Tap on enter over here. And now you have to type the password of that Wi-Fi network. Press OK. Then start setup. Wi-Fi wi setup is complete. This is great. Your printer is now connected. Next, we're going to go on your PC Select the Windows logo over there. Sometimes it's on the lower left side if you have an older version. Select Settings. Then on the left side, you're going to select Bluetooth and Devices. And then select Printers and Scanners. Now you're going to press Add Device. Your Epson printer will appear. You see Epson XP7100 series, yes. Okay, press on Add Device. It will connect to your printer and it will um, say ready over here. You see it's installing the software. You don't have to do anything really at this point. Just wait. And now it's, uh, and now it's saying ready. Open any file on your PC you wish to print. Let's say I'm going in this folder. I want to print this file. I'll press the print button. Now on the left side select your printer from the list, XP7100 series. Select the number of copies, what page you want to print. Let's say I simply want to print the first page, so I'll select one over here and press the print button. Usually in about 13 seconds, the print should come out of your printer. Here we go, we got our results right over here. Now how to scan and get the file on your PC. So we have a basic scanner. If we lift um, this panel over here, this is the basic scanner. If you want to input a page over here, you simply have to put it down with the top part of the document. Imagine something is written over here. Well, towards the right side. And now align this corner of your page with this corner over here where you see an arrow. So bring both together close the lid. If you want to use the top document feeder, this is able to take up to 20 pages at the same time. Here I only have one to show you. So put your page facing up with the top part towards the left side, glide it. You're going to hear a beep. This is the printer noticing that there is something input there. On your PC computer, you need to search and open the scan app. So I'll go over here, down below and type scan. It will open the scan app. If you don't have it, this is an app that is free to download on the Microsoft Store. So go ahead, open the Microsoft Store. Every PC computer has the Microsoft Store pre-installed. You don't have to do anything really. And then on the top here, tap or type scan download the Windows Scan app. This is very useful. Then over here in the Scan app, you need to select your XP7100. Source, you need to tell the, the computer where did you put your document? Did you put it in the flatbed scanner or on the top document feeder? I'll select feeder. Select the file type. Here, if you click on show more, you'll have more um, different options you can change. 
and at the end press the scan button. If you selected the top document feeder, as you see, it will be taken automatically. And if you have 20 pages, the printer will scan them one after another. And you can even scan both sides of each page, which is great. And at the end, you're going to get a confirmation over here that the scan has been saved and you can press view, close or do whatever you want. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.